Hi everybody, I'm Andre Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your lips look bigger. I've already done a similar video quite a while ago and I think that I have a new technique, a better technique, something that looks very natural, that works for every day and that any beginner with makeup can try this. Now I think any lipstick would look much better if you have white eye teeth. I've already told you about it. I've whitened my teeth, me and Alex, with a system called Smile Brilliant. And they're nice enough to give me a code for you with a discount. So if you want to use that, please check out the link in the description box. It's the same thing as what the doctors do, except that it's much cheaper and it's custom made for you. Before we get into this makeup tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that ring bell button. This way you're gonna be notified whenever I'm posting a new video. Now, if you'd like to see how to make your lips look bigger in a very simple way, then please keep on watching. It seems like a simple task. You just overline the lips and then that's it, you know? But maybe there are beginners among us that really don't know how to do this step. So I'm gonna show you the most simple technique that you could possibly use to make your lips look bigger, but not in a vulgar, is that a word? Because you know, sometimes overlining the lips can look extremely cheap. Here I was trying three of my favorite, three of my favorite lip liners. And these are Oak, Spice, and Strip Down. The first one is Oak, the second one in the middle uh, is spice and then the warmest is stripped down. It's like when you contour, you have to find a lip liner that is pretty much the same color as your shadows. Does it make any sense to you? So for me, that would be oak. And I'll explain why, because it's a little, it's a beigey kind of a brown. It's not too warm, it's not reddish, and it's just working perfectly with my skin. And don't forget, the lip liner has to be two or even three shades darker. So let's get started. I've sharpened my lip liner. This is not only helping me do a perfect contour, but it's also very hygienic. Just remember that. I'm gonna start with my bottom lip. Now, you see that my lip is a little bit like this. It sort of creates a natural shadow in here. I wanna emphasize that. So right under my lip contour, That's where I use the lip liner. Then as I go towards the corner of my mouth, I follow my natural lip contour. So you see right here is my lip, here. That's what I'm gonna follow. The reason why we use lip liners is, of course, to help us guide the lipstick, you know, when you're going to apply the lipstick. You know, sometimes when you're using a um, very creamy lipstick and if you look very close, it starts to like get into the, and all the wrinkles around your mouth and all of a sudden you look kind of crazy, especially if you're wearing like a reddish or pinkish lipstick, you can see that much better. Well, because the lip liner is so waxy, it prevents from doing that. I think the right word that I'm looking for is prevent migrating the lipstick. I'm done with the bottom lip. Let's go to the upper lip. Now you can see that my bottom lip is a little bit bigger than my upper lips. So I'm gonna try to balance that. I'm going to draw a V that's exactly my lip shape, but higher. And then I go towards the corners of my mouth, but now I'm going to follow my natural lip contour. And you, th you do that gradual, like you can't from here, you can go like straight. So you just go gradual until you actually meet the natural lip contour right here. The point is to follow your natural lip contour here, here, and here. Because you want your lips to be bigger right here, but you don't want to you don't want to have them bigger here because they're gonna look like this, like like this. 
you know this isn't this isn't pretty in in my eyes now i'm gonna make this lip contour a little bit stronger the next step is totally optional you don't have to do this this is just something that i sometimes like to do for photo shootings or when i want to make my lips a little bit like i extend the corners of my mouth i'm gonna create a shadow right here I might be crazy and nobody might even see this, but for me, it makes like such a big difference. Like this. This is a very good trick. Sometimes it works like it does magic. If I have, you know that some women, as we get older, we tend to have some wrinkles in here and the wrinkles are exactly like making our lips look sad all the time this is a great trick but don't like don't overdo it i promise you if i wouldn't have told you that i'm doing this you probably wouldn't have even noticed now here's what i like to do i like to use a small blending brush and i find this brush to be perfect for this for this step this is 233 from zoeva this is in this is from their screen queen collection i just like to take this brush and with fairy motions I'm blending the contour was she born with it? no it's just lip liner I'm going to go over my lip contour one more time especially on the top lip so the same thing Okay, now when it comes to lipstick, sky's the limit. My favorite nudes, Velvet Teddy from MAC, beautiful color. This is Uptight from Urban Decay, another beautiful nude, at least for my lips. But for today, I'm going to use this because I want something that has a little bit more orangey in it. I'm going to use this lipstick from Fenty Beauty. And here's the thing. It's a, it's a very light, orangey kind of a lipstick, this one right here. Now, if I would apply it just like that, it would just be too much for my lips. So the way I like to apply this lipstick, take this brush, same brush that I was using for the contour, and then with fairy movement, like this, I start from the middle of my lip, The point is to have a lipstick that's a little bit lighter than your contour. The lips kind of look the same color, so there is a little bit of dimension, but not too much. So I'm going to give a little bit more dimension applying this Makeup Geek matte lipstick. And I'm, I will actually apply it on my hand, like right here. And I'll take it with a brush and I will apply it only in the corners. Because this is a little bit darker. Just leave the center of your lips with a lighter color. Not a huge difference, enough for me to see it. Now you want to use a lip gloss because there is nothing that makes your lips look bigger than a lip gloss. I'm going to use this Sarah Hap One Lux gloss and it's so pretty. Okay, I'm not good with swatches. 231 brush from MAC. I'm applying this lip gloss right in the center. You could use a clear gloss, it's okay. I think the lips look obviously bigger, but not in a disturbing way. I personally like it. I know that it takes quite a few minutes to do this, but if you are willing to try it at home, please tag me. In your pictures I'd love to see it this is a very very simple eye makeup look um, I'm going to post a video on how I've created this look on my Instagram but just so you know the main eyeshadow that I've used is this one from Dolce Gabbana 
It's a beautiful creamy eyeshadow. It's called Copper 41 and it's their limited edition. When I hear limited edition, I'm like, <gasps> I need to have it. And then on my face, I've got the Dolce Gabbana foundation. A client of mine told me like, oh, you have never tried Dolce Gabbana foundation? That is the best. And I was like, so I went and bought it. This is in natural glow, 100, but it's a little tiny bit too golden and too dark for me. Lashes are short and sweet from Velour Lashes. But if you're interested to see the whole makeup look, you can go ahead and check out my Instagram. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I mean, I hope it's quick. Don't forget to tag me if you decide to recreate this and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please click on that ring bell button so you'll get notifications when I post a new video. Let me know in the comments if you plan to try this, if this is something that interests you, if you think it looks natural. You can also follow me on Instagram where I give you a lot of tips and tricks about makeup and not only. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You know what I need? Some big ass earrings. Who can find anything in this house? I don't know where the idea with this hair came from, but do not touch me. Do not.